for some time now, we've tried to figure out some way that we can be in better touch with you. And it's nice to be able to sit down and chat a little bit about some of the things going on. Hi, I'm Doug DeVos. And I'm Steve Van Andel. And we want to welcome you to Open Meeting. Hi, everyone. This is Open Meeting, and it is our From the Archive section. And today we're going to listen to a little bit to my a speech that my dad gave. I think it was back in the mid-'80s. Mid-'80s at Diamond Club, and it's always fun to hear these speeches, so let's give it a shot. We now have new products and services that appeal to people we've never been able to talk to before. We have world-class products. And to continue those kinds of world-class products, we've committed some $10 million for research and development. Interesting little sign of the times. In the first 25 years of Amway, we filed just 14 patent applications from our research and development department. Last year alone, we filed 11 patent applications, almost as many in one year as we did the whole first quarter century in business. What are they saying about us? Well, I don't think we're any longer that little soap company from Ada. A telecommunications magazine recently published an article about Amway, and they said Amway has intelligence and muscle. I kind of like that. Now, you figure out between Rich and me where the intelligence is and where the muscle is. Leave that to your good judgment. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> when he talks about that same promise, making sure we have the greatest products back 30 years ago is a promise we deliver on today as well. When your dad was talking about our commitment and we talked about patents, what it really, each patent represents a, a person, a, a creative, innovative, scientist, professional person who put their heart and soul into their work. Who, who was absolutely committed. And, and then the result not isn't just a patent, it becomes a product because it has to get connected like your dad was talking about to the, to the strength of the Amway business opportunity so that the products are there that, that can give confidence to anybody who's buying a product, anyone who's selling the product, anybody who's using the product because there's that level of connection. And that's why we keep our investment in those products. We keep it in the number of scientists we have, the amount of resources that we put into making sure we do have those quality products for all of you around the world. Yeah, you know, and the uh, the piece that we've put into it, I think the number, you know, your dad was talking about 10 million there. We're up to about 100 million a year of what we invest, you know, in, in our R&D operations around the world. And, and again, it's far beyond that. The facilities, you know, one of the early memories I have was when we opened the, a lot of the, you know, the uh, R&D facilities here, you know, the, the environment so that people would have a great place to work. And even beyond that, we've recently invested over 300 million in making sure we have the, the plants that manufacture the different products around the world. So our commitment to, to those products continues. You, you know, and, and again, the, idea is that you connect all this science so that that people through our products can, can have a great experience, can live a better life, and through the whole opportunity is connected to it. And I think one of the neat things as well is the, the third-party endorsements that we've received, because we've received a lot of endorsements from the from NSF International, from the British Allergy Foundation, from the U.S. Uh, Environmental Protection Agency. There's a lot of uh, 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 folks kind of in the R&D industry that have a tremendous level of respect for the work that happens here by our team at Amway. And Dad talked a little bit about who's the muscle and who's the intelligence. <laughs> We're still going to let you figure what that is. <laughs> I, I love that comment. I just, I could, and, and when, when your dad says that, I could just see him kind of smiling uh, uh, as, uh, as it's being said. Well, that's it from, from the archives. Thanks for, for tuning in and watching this segment. Thank you.